what is graph explain different types of graphs graph is non linear data structure consisting of nodes and edges each node of graph is represented as vertex and edge as link between two vertices that can be either directed or undirected graph data structure is having applications in various fields like electrical and electronics engineering computer science games and puzzles geographical information system etc graph theory was originated in onisberg problem by leonard euler A graph G equals V comma E consists of finite set of vertices V and finite set of edges E. V J is set of vertices represent entities which has names and other attributes. E J set of edges where each edge connects a pair of vertices and represents a relationship between two entities types of graphs first undirected graph a graph is known as undirected if no directions are assigned to the edges of graph edges of undirected graph are represented by unordered pair of vertices example for undirected graph so here the graph is having set of vertices 1 2 3 and 4 so vj equals set 1 2 3 4 4. and we have set of edges ej which is unordered pairs 1 2 1 3 and 3 4 which is used to represent the edges so wherever the edges they are connecting vertices is represented in the unordered pair now since it is unordered pair so the edge between 1 and 2 can be represented either by unordered pair 1 comma 2 or by 2 comma 1 so you can see the edges between 1 and 2 can be written either as unordered pair 1 comma 2 or 2 comma 1 second directed graph a graph is known as directed if edges are assigned with directions edges of directed graph are represented by ordered pair of vertices example for a directed graph so in this graph the set of vertices vj is set with vertices names a b c d e and f and the edges are represented by using ordered pairs depending on the directions of connecting edges so a comma b b comma c c comma e e comma d d comma b and e comma f in the directed graph the edges between vertices like a and b can be written as ordered pair a comma b where direction is from the vertex a to vertex b it cannot be considered from b to a direction third connected graph a graph is said to be connected if no node in the graph is isolated for undirected connected graph every pair of nodes in the graph will have a path example for undirected connected graph and an example for directed connected graph so in both the graphs there is no node which are isolated fourth one disconnected or unconnected graph a graph in which there does not exist any path between at least one pair of vertices is known as disconnected graph example for disconnected graph it is a disconnected graph as there is no path between any of vertices a b c d and vertices 
EFGH. Strongly connected graph. A directed graph is known as strongly connected if there exists a path between each pair of vertices. In a strongly connected graph, there must not be any source or sink vertex. Example for strongly connected graph. It is strongly connected graph as there is no source or sink vertex. Weakly connected graph. A directed graph is known as weakly connected if there exists a vertex whose either in degree or out degree is zero. That is, there exists source or sink vertex in weakly connected graph. Example for weakly connected graph. So in this graph, in degree of the vertex A is zero and the out degree of the vertex C is zero. So when a vertex is having in degree as zero, then it is known as source. And here the vertex C, the out degree is zero. So it is known as sink. So in this graph, we have A, the vertex A as source and the vertex C as sink. So it's an example for weakly connected graph. Weighted graph. A graph is said to be weighted if edges are assigned weights that represent certain physical attributes or properties. Example for weighted graph. So in this graph, each edge is assigned with some weight value. So it is an example for weighted graph. In weighted graph, an edge is represented as E equals ordered pair V1, V2, W, where V1 and V2 are vertices and W is weight of edge. Here, the set of vertices Vj is A, B, C, D, and E. And the set of edges can be represented A, B, 3, so a comma b comma 3 indicates there is an edge from a to b with a weight of 3. Similarly, from the vertex b, we have edge to c, d, and e. So we can write b comma c comma 6, b comma d comma 1, b comma e comma 5. From the vertex c to vertex e, there is an edge with the weight 6. So we can write c comma e comma 6. And from the vertex D to E, there is an edge of weight seven. So D comma E comma seven. There is no edge which is going from the vertex E. So it is an example for weakly connected graph also because the out degree of vertex E is zero. So it is sync and in degree of the vertex A is zero. So the vertex A is source. Multigraph. A graph is said to be multigraph if it contains multiple edges or loop in it. Example for multigraph. So this is an example for multigraph because there is a loop, a loop having the starting and terminal vertex the same, which is V, and there are multiple edges between vertex W and Z. It is a multigraph as it contains loop at vertex V and multiple edges between W and Z. Simple graph. A simple graph or strict graph is unweighted, undirected graph containing no loops or multiple edges. Example for a simple graph. So this graph is an example for simple graph because it is unweighted and it is undirected. And this graph is not having any loop or multiple edges between any of two vertices.